Now, in this lecture, we will talk about what inheritance is. This is one of the most important topic in object-oriented programming. So, what is inheritance? Inheritance is a technique to access public and protected properties and methods of the child class in the parent class. Using inheritance, you can access all the public and protected properties and methods from the other extended PHP class. Now, let me show you a very simple example to understand inheritance. Now, let me just call my previous YouTube class which we have created in the previous lecture and its object. Now, we know that how to create this simple YouTube class where we have two properties, one constructor and one method. And we just created an object of this class and just get the method, get title and echo the title property. Now, what if I want to use this method and these properties in other PHP class? In this case, we can use inheritance. Now, let me show you how you can access the YouTube class property or method in other PHP class using inheritance. Down here, I'm going to create one more class. So, I'm going to start with the class keyword and then specify the class name. So, I'm going to specify here access. So, I'm going to create a new class access. And now, I want to access the properties and methods of this YouTube class. So, I'm going to simply use here extend keyword to extend the properties and methods of the child class. So, I'm going to use here extends and specify my YouTube class. Extend keyword used to inherit the child class. So, now you can call this YouTube class as child of this access class. So, access is the parent of this child YouTube class. So, in this class, I'm going to simply create a method. So, I'm going to create a public function, get length and just return a message. I am parent of a YouTube class. And now I want to call this method. So, I'm going to simply create an object of this access class. So, we need to create an object of access class to call this method. What if I get rid of this YouTube and here I'm going to call access. So, if I just execute this statement, I'm going to get this message. Because as I said, using inheritance, you can access properties and methods of the child class. So, as you can notice here, we extended the YouTube class so we can access all the public and protected properties and methods of the YouTube class using this access object. So, here you can notice we just created an access object and specify constructor to it. We did not specify constructor to this access class, but we have this constructor in this YouTube class. So, we are going to pass these values using this parent class. So, when you use extend keyword to extend the child class and if the child class has constructor, you need to pass both these values when creating an object of the parent class. So, here we pass two parameters to this access object. You can notice we don't have this method in this access class. So, if I execute this statement, it's going to return this message because as I said, you can access public and protected properties and methods of the child class using parent class. Now, let me just call this get title using this access object. So, using a single object, I can access the property and method of both these classes. Now, when I execute this statement, it's going to echo the reduction using this first statement and then it's going to echo this message. Now, let me just get rid of this statement and in this parent class, I want to access this length property of my child class. Now, can we access this length property in the parent class? Yes, we can. Now, let me just put here return class title and I'm going to just access the title and the length property of the child class in the parent class. Now, when I execute this statement, it's going to return the result something like this. I'm going to have a message class title daily tuition and length 20. Now, what if I change the access modifier of this property? If I just change it to protected, and when I execute this statement, it's going to return this message. Because as I said earlier in the previous lecture, protected property or method can be accessed in the own class or in the inherited class. So, you can access this property in the same class or in the inherited class. But what if I specify here private? If I specify here private, then I can't access this property in this extended class. If you execute this statement, you will get a notice message undefined property. This is because you specify here private access modifier to this property. You can't access the private property or method outside of the class. So, be aware while using access modifier when using inheritance. Inheritance is basically used to add more functionality 
to the child class. Now I hope you understand how to use inheritance. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.